All right, in this video, we're going to review MarcoPolo.ai. MarcoPolo.ai, let's just go to the site here. It's a place where you can uh, manage your ad, paid advertising across plenty of different social networks, including Facebook and Instagram, which is pretty much the same company, um, f and in Google ads, as well as YouTube. Now, the cool part about what Marco Polo does is that they do give you some extra insights based on the numbers that it sees when you connect your account to uh, either Google or Facebook. Um, and then it uses artificial intelligence to kind of make some good rational decisions so that you can make better decisions to make sure that your marketing dollars go a little further. And um, I guess one of the best parts about Marco Polo as well is that you can um, control your ads from within the platform itself once you connect. So if you need to pause an ad here or stop an ad there, you can do it within Marco Polo and then it'll reach out to Facebook and to uh, uh, Google to do that kind of stuff for you. Um, it I do, I would want to break out the uh, how much it's going to cost. So the pricing for this, they have a monthly and, and annual billing like most places, starts at $23 a month. In 99 and in 199, the big difference between most of these is just the uh, the number of advanced tools that you're going to get to be able to use. So, for example, this part says high performance audience creation mode, and I'm kind of you know iffy as to whether or not you know that's really that big of a deal kind of a thing. Um, but the they, like with most things, they want you to kind of go with the middle tier because usually that's going to have the most things there available um, for you to be able to run the tool successfully. Um, in my opinion. Marco Polo is worth it, but it's a little overpriced in my opinion. A similar tool would be like an Adspresso, um, adspresso.com. And uh, now they don't have, now the pricing here is a little comparable, $49.99 and then $259. Um, $99 is the one that I used to use a long time ago when I was running paid ads all the time. But, uh, you know, it's not as something that you absolutely have to have, but it does help with the creation of uh, the ads that, that you would need. But um, Marco Polo, at least right now, does have a special offer over at AppSumo. So if you're watching this, I believe they're going to be only on AppSumo for the next couple of weeks. And then they're going to, you know, this ad lifetime deal is going to go away. But for $69, or 139 or 209 you can get a lifetime deal with marcopolo.ai so just let's scroll down and see what is all included so with the tier one you're going to get 15 social and ppc accounts five brands three users um unlimited campaigns and unlimited ad spend so that's not bad, you know, for $69. Um, it's a good alternative if so that you don't have, like, as good as Adspresso is, you do have to pay monthly for that, where you can pay for this one time and usually be just fine. If you're just running ads for yourself, this is pretty good. If you're running ads for an agency, you'll probably need to get either the tier two or the tier three plans. Um, now, in terms of uh, the reviews, um, one thing I wanted to break out here was... Toward the bottom, we have these questions right here that were asked. Some pretty good questions. And I just wanted to point them out to you because they do help answer specific questions about Marco Polo. So um, this one here, to use Marco Polo, do you have to install the Facebook Pixel? Yeah, it's not going to do that for you. You will need to still install the Facebook Pixel yourself. But this third question is really important. Do you have a way of tracking data using the server side tracking? So if you're familiar with using Facebook ads at all, um, most places need to code their websites in a specific way so that they can get server side tracking of events that happen within your Facebook ads rather than, you know, depending on the cookies, because that's what a lot of iOS 14 kind of, you know, messed up for people. They say as of right now, they don't have the functionality to do this and to track for it, but it is coming and they're saying it's going to be there within October, uh, this is 2022, so October 2022. It's a huge thing, so I wouldn't doubt that they would have this done, and it would make a big difference in whether or not you know I would keep a tool like this or not, because you're going to get much better accurate data by having the server side tracking um, so that you know whether or not you know someone had landed on a page if they bought something you know where they came from so that you can continue spending your ad dollars in the right place um, 
let's go ahead and I want to show you this one thing that I found interesting. So this is the uh, the front of Marco Polo's website. And, uh, you know, you got to you know look at a lot of the reviews and stuff that they have. The reviews on AppSumo are actually pretty good, but I like to get reviews from everywhere, you know, just to see. I mean, it's five out of five tacos, which usually is a pretty good sign. And it's an AppSumo select company. So it says right here, exclusive offers on the hottest software, um, expertly tested, vetted, and brought to you by the AppSumo team. So AppSumo has looked at this tool. This is usually a good sign because it shows that they are, um, they're gonna stick around a while and it's not gonna be like one of these random places that pops up and then they're gonna be gone or their support's gonna be lacking or something like that. But um, regardless, uh, I would definitely, recommend at least giving Marco Polo a try if, if at least just to see if you like it you do get that 60 day money back guarantee with it so I'll be sure to put a link down in the description as well so that you can go check out Marco Polo um, and see what you think of it and then you get two months to really try it out and really uh, decide if you want to keep it or not um, one little red flag that I did catch that I did want to make you aware of is while I was here on the front page of Marco Polo excuse me I didn't notice I didn't notice that um, if you go down to the bottom here, they give you their trust pilot, which is great. You know, you want to have somewhere that you can you can go to when you click on their trust pilot. 4.7, you know, excellent and great. These are all great signs. But there's something about this. This is a little weird for me. So when you come down here, you can see um, that this one's coming from India. Now, I have no you know, qualms or issues with people you know, who are from India, but sometimes you got to be a little bit more careful um, based on that kind of thing. And it also shows here that they were invited, which means that you know, um, Marco Polo themselves went out and sent the invitation, say, hey, go leave a review. But if that was like one, you know, or if it was a handful, that's fine. But of the 50 reviews that they have so far, it seems like 90% of them are from India. India invited, India invited, India invited. You know, it's India all the way down. It's all India. Um, okay, here's one as ID. I'm sure, I'm assuming that's maybe Idaho. So, but it's, I would look at this one and think, okay, what did they have to say? But they were also invited. Um, again, there's nothing wrong with someone being invited to give a, um, uh, a a review of Trustpilot or a review of Marco Polo here at Trustpilot. But it's, you know, another India and there's just, they're all Indian. So it makes me kind of wonder, you know, did he just send these to these people and say, hey, leave me a good review? You know, it's a little off. Um, it would catch me a little off-putting. Um, again, I have to look, search really hard to find one that's not an Indian review. Um, of the 50 that are here, it seems like, okay, this one says CZ. That would be, I believe, China or something. Uh, PT. Okay, see, these are the ones I'd probably look at, EE, -E. um, but I would definitely look for, you know, um, I would definitely look for United States ones as well. So, and I don't think I saw one United States one, because if that ID was, you know, maybe it's a country like Indonesia or something versus Idaho, you know, then that could be, that would be another red flag, at least to me. So, um, oh, granted, okay, the company looks like they're from Bangladesh, so maybe that's a, a big reason for it. Um, if the company is from Bangladesh, maybe a lot of the people who first started using it would be from India. So that actually is a good sign, but it's still something to be careful of, right? Which is a great thing about why Marco Polo and AppSumo, you do get a 60 day winning back guarantee. So it's at least worth trying and then putting it out there and then giving it a shot. But let's go ahead and jump into um Marco Polo right now and uh, here we are so Marco Polo is it's pretty um, epic you know they kind of cover a lot of bases when it comes to um, connecting your ad accounts as well as creating the ads so um, when you first get started you do they do run you through this where you can upload your brand logo um, audience keywords connect social accounts ad brand website create the ad and then you can launch a quick ad all from within this little platform and um, it's pretty good and robust um, to say that uh, this is, you know, you, get, you can connect your Facebook ad account and your Google account is here. And then you can do everything that you would need in order to um, um, to create the ad. Now, one cool thing here, when you go to create an ad, it gives you 
everything that you really need in order to get the ad perfect and it uses AI to come up with the content for it. Now, you can do that with Jasper. You know, you can do that with Word Hero or text or wherever, you know, that you happen to be using an AI for. So I don't know how much of a, you know, this is more of a commodity than anything because you can get it anywhere, but you're not going to be able to find it, create the ad for you and then post it on Facebook or post it on um, in Google to get this kind of stuff up and running. Um, on the sides here, we have uh, the campaign, the audience, the ad maker, the dashboard, the brands. I'm not sure what the nucleus is. Oh, it's suggestions. So the, the nucleus is um, while it's looking at your ads and monitoring them and then seeing exactly how much money you're spending and what kind of results you're getting, then you're going to have these AI generated suggestions here on to how to proceed forward. Um, I typically, you know, when it comes to running ads, I kind of just, you know, I'm not going to say use my gut, but I look at the numbers and then make decisions from there. Um, so I don't know exactly how great the suggestions would be from the AI, but again, it's worth testing. Um, the ad maker is probably going to be worth its weight in gold for this as well, as well as the option of being able to connect your accounts to Google ads and Google um, and Facebook ad manager. But other than that, um, when it comes to Marco Polo, I definitely would at least give it a try. Um, take a lot of these positive reviews with a grain of salt and see for yourself. Take advantage of the 60 day money back guarantee over at Marco. Po oh, I'm sorry, over at AppSumo so that you can at least try it and then see if you like it. So I'll be sure to leave a link down in the description so that you can go ahead and check out Marco Polo. And if you have any questions or if you've used Marco Polo and had any experience with it, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. I'll see you later. Bye.